We gotta think of a theme song. I'm about to say it's like you done thought of one already. You already know me. Quick on my feet. Hold on. <laughs> Cooking with the springers. <laughs> What is up you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Cooking with the Springers. Today we're going to be making a Taco Tuesday inspired type dish. But before I continue, I'm Shanice and this is your boy Sue. And we are going to be taking you behind the scenes as to everything you need to make this dish and how to make it perfect. And then of course we're going to do a little drinky drink afterwards. We actually should have got some tequila. Wow. Wow, that's crazy. So you guys know this is another dish of Sims. I'm just gonna be here behind the camera asking all of the questions that you guys may have questions to. We're gonna be doing lamb tacos. What should we call it? What's the name of it? I don't know, but if y'all give me like probably 10 more minutes, I'm gonna have a name for it. I promise. <laughs> I'm dead. So that will be the title of the video. But we do have some lamb shoulders. We have some olive oil, shredded cheese, avocado, lime, lemon, jalapenos, garlic, whole cloves. Okay. And then we have some tomatoes, onions, cilantro, and we have an array of seasonings that Sim is going to take you through, let you know why he's using them, what he's using, and what time to put them into your dish. So without further ado, we're gonna hop into the episode. Do you have anything else you wanna say? Let's burn some pants. First step, we're gonna go ahead and get our special homemade taco sauce uh, started up. So we're gonna take our half of an onion, which we sliced. We took a quarter cup of jalapeno sliced and a quarter cup of garlic cloves broken in half already as well. Um, but we're gonna take the onions, jalapenos, and our half of tomato sliced, put on the skillet, just to give a little char taste to it. Now you can throw it on the grill as well. Um, usually that is what I do, just put it on some foil, it works the same way. But I'm gonna show everybody how to do it on the skillet real quick. So once you get your skillet out, um, you do want to give it a little bit of a light coat. You can use cooking spray or olive oil. Um, I usually use olive oil, maybe a teaspoon or so. Spread it around, just give it a nice little uh, gloss coat to it as well. Uh, so we're going to get this started before we put our onions, tomatoes, and jalapenos on. Like the way you spread that oil, baby. <laughs> yes, so sir. <laughs> So question, mm -hmm. why do you have to give it that charred taste? Does it make a difference? Um, to me, it just gives it more of a flavor, so to speak. I mean, who, who just wants regular onions and tomatoes? It's just kind of boring. <laughs> okay. So, another question. How long do you char them for? Um, it depends on how high you have the stove on. If you have it um, on high, give them maybe about five minutes max. Uh, Cause of course you don't want to mess the pan up as well cause they will stick. Um, if it's on medium, about 10 minutes or so, but that's total. That includes when you flip on both sides. You do want to make sure you flip it so you get both sides, you know, as far as that color. The tomatoes, of course, are going to get a little color a lot quicker because they're not really mixed to be dried out that way. Um, but the onions, of course, just like regular onions, like we make the steaks, 
burgers, you know, leave it on there for about a good 10 minutes or so. Make sure you flip, gives you that nice little, nice little color. Nothing too outrageous. Mm. Okay with the terminology or whatever. <laughs> we love it. All right, got a little oregano. Onion powder, some Old Bay. For taco purposes, some taco seasoning. Some lemon pepper. Question, why are you using lemon pepper? Uh, me personally, I like the taste of lemon pepper. It, it takes a little bit of the, the gaminess out of certain things. Mm -hmm. And some paprika. All right, and you're going to mix it in. Of course, you'll be washing your hands afterwards, so it's fine. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and get the homemade taco sauce put together. So we're gonna take a few ice cubes. Um, it's really a preference of yours of how many that you wanna make. I think I grabbed maybe about five or so. Um, so you go ahead and put the ice cubes in first. Then you're gonna combine the rest of the ingredients being the garlic, the onions, the tomatoes, jalapenos, as well as cilantro, and your avocado. And combine it into the blender. Take a lime and a lemon. Like mine a little zesty, so we're gonna go ahead and drop both of them in. <laughs> both halves. Both halves. Making so, it so one have, whole. So now you have a whole lime and lemon added to it. And just add a little bit extra taste. I'm gonna add a little bit more taco seasoning to the actual sauce. Not much, because we've already seasoned our lamb with it. And the final ingredient, an eighth of a cup of olive oil. So we're gonna puree it. Of course, make sure it's turned all the way off before we take the top off. <laughs> Ooh. So when you open it up, you should actually get the um, the taco sauce smell, and you should also be able to see. Ooh. <laughs> if it's a little too thick, of course you can add some water if you like. I personally don't like runny sauce that much; it makes too much of a mess. So this is perfect for me. So now we're gonna go ahead and move back over to the stove and get this lamb seared up real quick. Can you put your sauce into some type of container to pour? Is it viscous enough for that? It can be depending on how thick you make it. Um, ours isn't that thick, it would still pour, but it wouldn't pour out of, um, let's say, an actual like um, squirt, squirt bottle. bottle, just because it is too thick. You can thin it up by adding more water to it. Um, of course, that may also stretch what you're trying to use as well. Um, so it really just depends on how long you plan on using or if you're actually just going to make it and set it to the side. Um, shelf life for it though isn't all that long. I say maybe max three, four days. That's me personally. Um, but it's your preference. It's your stomach as well. So, so do you. <laughs> all right. So we're going to coat the pan again with olive oil. A little more this time just because we're actually cooking something this go around. Once you get your stove turned on, um, just give your skin a little bit more time to heat back up. It may still be a little warm from when you actually threw your onions, jalapenos, and your tomatoes on there. Um, but if not, it's still fine. Just give it a little time to warm back up before you throw your lamb on there. It gives it a chance to sear the outside of it. Um, of course, the outside will seem a little bit more done, so we're only gonna have it on high for the initial cooking of the lamb, and then we're gonna turn it back down just to go ahead and get the inside a little bit more of a cook. Yeah. 
see it's already starting to get the color to it. Mm. You don't like a light skin, tall red bone? No, no, no. <laughs> like I'm a little chocolate. Ooh, my mouth is watering. How long has it been, Chef? Um, maybe five minutes or so. So with lamb, you don't want to overcook it, so we turn the stove down already to close the loaf. Because once you overcook it, it can get extremely tough to eat. So we're going to turn it down already, and we're just basically going to let it sit for maybe like another three or four minutes. Just to get the pink areas a little done, a little more done. That grease is popping. It's popping. <laughs> <laughs> Chef Sim. What other? So tell us, what other meat can you use for this recipe? Anything you want to make a with. Shrimp, chicken, lamb, steak, beyond meat, whatever. I guess you decide to eat that. Uh, salmon, tilapia, cod. It really doesn't matter. Um, the, the special thing about today is really more so the taco sauce recipe because a lot of people don't know how to make their own sauce from scratch. So that's really the gym we're dropping off today. But as far as the meat goes, it's really just a preference. Um, thought that this lamb would be kind of interesting, so we're trying the lamb. So let y'all see how that goes in about five more minutes. Yes, yeah, Chef Sam! What up, You ain't gonna pull out no thermometer? No. You don't do that? No. Come on now, you just gonna eyeball once it like you, that? Yeah, once you do it for a while, you can eyeball it, man. Like, I can tell you right now, because you, you, you learn to do something. You start to see the paint. It's starting to get close to a well. So right now, it might be close to maybe a medium well, because you can still see the blood coming out. You feel me? But you don't want it to be too dry. So I am going to take that off in a second. Mm. Yeah, this one I see now is done. This will not say yet because you know, you still see the bleeding. So it's closer to maybe like a medium. Okay. So we're going to It's still hot enough now, so we're going to turn that guy off. And we're going to let it ride. Once you stop hearing the sizzle and everything, go ahead and take it off. And we're going to slice it up and get our tacos ready. Yes, I am. So we here have our tortillas. We actually have the street style tortillas. They're not too big, not too small. Generally what you would probably get from like a taco stand or something. So we preheat our oven on 350. Once it got to 350, we turned it off just because we don't want to, of course, burn or overcook or harden our tortillas. We just want them to be warm. So the help is here and I'm just pouring our sauce into this bowl. I wanted to show you guys the consistency. Ours is thicker, like almost guacamole thick. No, not that thick, babe. No, it's close. So here's what that consistency looks like. We like that right there. That's good.
today we're drinking from the Black Girl Magic wine. It's a Riesling and this will be our first time trying it. Okay. Sounds like my type of girl. So what do you want to tell them about the tacos? Oh yeah, so as you've seen, we watch out through a little tutorial of um, this little quick taco Tuesday, more so the sauce. I decided on the name on the sauce. It will be called Sauce de Luciano. Um, so yeah, so we're about to dive into these lamb tacos covered in Sauce de Luciano. Can we call it the Luciano Verde? Cause that's technically green. Sure. Y'all vote below. Sure. We're gonna let them vote. Sauce de Luciano or Luciano Verde? I think I like Luciano Verde. I like that too, cause it's green sauce, like you know. All right. So yeah. So honestly, you can top these any way that you would like. The sauce kind of does a lot already because it has the onion, tomato, and jalapenos in there. But if you're feeling frisky and you want to add something else on top, you can. Like we're going to do some sour cream and um, what do we usually put on top? Well, so rise up right now, the taco itself consists of the lamb that y'all, of course, watched us cook and you cooked with us as well the uh, Luciano Verde. Top a little bit of cilantro as well as some Gouda. Gouda is a type of cheese for those who are not familiar. Um, and we're also going to add some sour cream. Why? Because I need sour cream on anything as far as tacos, burritos, fajitas, chili, doesn't matter. Sour cream needed. Um, so yeah, we're going to toss this sour cream on on here and um, get a little taste testing going because I know she's hungry. I gotta say some wine first. Ooh, gotta swirl it around. You didn't like it? That was good. It's right in between where it needs to be. Not too dry, not too sweet. It's not bad. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Not bad at all. My mouth is watering. I'm not touching this taco without the sour cream. Sour creamy cream. Would you put sauce on top? Sauce as in? Salsa. Oh, salsa. You can if you're a salsa type person, but I would be very wary. I'm not sure how much jalapeno y'all put in y'all's. But uh, keep in mind, you did add jalapenos to it. So, depending on how much sauce you add on there, it could be a little, um, have a little bit of a punch. Let's do this. Okay. <laughs> it's the wine. It's the wine for me. It's the wine for me. Or is it the Luciano Verde? No, that's the wine. Anyway, you guys, we are just here to close out today's episode. 
The tacos were amazing. It's the perfect sauce to add on to your favorite tacos and just step your Taco Tuesday up a notch. So we hope this gave you guys some inspiration. From our last episode, we've seen all of your comments. We saw the stuffed chicken. I think somebody wanted a mac and cheese recipe. That's it. Ain't gonna happen. Yeah. Ain't gonna happen. Cause Cheryl finna come shut my whole channel down. But maybe I can give you guys a substitute recipe. And you also ask for soul food. So we're going to write down all your recommendations. And then start bringing you guys whole meals. Because I know these last two were quick, simple, and easy recipes to follow. Got anything to say to mm. Eat up. Mm. I was hoping you say more. I was trying to drink my wine. Yeah. But. <laughs> right, I said enough. And, hey, eat up. Hope you enjoy it. Anyway. But you guys, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button. And tap the bell so you never miss another Shanice Alicia upload. We will see you guys in the next one. Peace, guys.